from Shady Bill's Garage here. Um, I'm going to come with a new rider's perspective on the uh, 2009 or probably any Triumph Street Triple, although they do change over the years and they eventually went to drive-by wire. Um, and this is my son, Chris. How old are you, Chris? Uh, I'm 17. So he, Chris is 17 years old and he's been begging me for a while to uh, take out the street, the street Triple. And today we've had it, we've been dealing with a little rain, a little gloom, but it's finally gotten pretty nice here in New Jersey. Um, and we went out, we went out, we've done about 50, 60 miles so far. Um, and uh, so Chris, what's your, uh, What's your riding experience? Your total riding experience? I've been riding for like 10 years, about like dirt bikes when I was like seven or eight. And then, and then so you rode dirt bikes for a while. Then you got a moped license. You actually had a moped. Um, and then you've been riding on the street for about how long? Like a year. Like a year? Yeah, you had his permit. Now you officially have your motorcycle license. So he took the MSF course. He's officially licensed. Um, and so we took out the street triple today. Um, now, I've waxed poetic on how good this bike is, but I've been riding for, God, since I was 17 years old, so 30-something years. Um, and now here you are, you're 17, and you have, what kind of bike do you have? Uh, I have a Royal Enfield Constantinople GT 650. 650, do you like that bike? Yeah. Um, I do think that is one of the best first bikes, especially if you want to buy something new uh, that you can have. But now you spent a day on the Street Triple. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. Would you recommend it? I haven't told them any of this. Would you recommend it for a uh, new rider? Um, what do you think? Give me your give me your two minute opinion. Well, I like I like that it handles really well. Like you can take turns really sharp. Um, definitely sharper than on the uh, end field. You definitely have more clearance with the pegs and all of that. Uh, it's a little, it's faster, it's more peppy. But I don't really know if I like that more than the end field. The end field's really, really nice and smooth on the throttle. You, but you have so much room to play with it compared to this. You kind of got to like keep it in the same position or go to a higher gear. Um, but yeah, it's about, it's about how much I like it. So would you recommend this for a new rider? No. no? What if you were a really, uh, if you had really good control and you didn't want to drive too fast? How about that? I don't know, maybe. I, I don't think so. So I, I always get know. comments whenever I do a video, and it's always, I, uh, cute cars keep driving by. Um, it's always, if I say, you know, that like the Interceptor 650 or the Continental GT 650 is a great first bike, I have people saying, oh my God, how can you let someone drive more than a 125 or a 250 for their first bike? How could you recommend that? And then I've, I'll do a review on a sport bike or my old FCR uh, 600 uh, or this and someone and I say it's not a good beginner bike and people are like I started on a GSXR 1000 and I ended up fine um, I almost find that that like European A2 license amount is the way to go um, as far as your first bike but you know people are always going to do what they want to do Chris so street triple could could a new rider ride this bike yeah yeah they, they could definitely drive it it's just it it's just a sport bike engine and a naked bike it's definitely not the smartest decision because it's something that could go like how much do you think like 140 miles an hour it does do 140 like, miles an hour and runs a quarter mile in right about 11 seconds at 121 yeah. if you're a skinny guy like you fat guy like me not so much but how about okay I saw a couple times you dip back and I saw you gun it. Oh, what yeah. happened when you when you gunned it? Oh yeah, no, when you give it too much throttle, it just wheelies. And it, like, like if you're a new rider, bro, like right, right when you have that wheel, you're flipping that. You have no idea what you're doing, you're flipping the bike. <laughs> All right, so did you enjoy riding it today? Oh yeah, it was fun. If I said, let's go for a ride, would you grab this or would you grab a Royal Enfield? Probably my Royal Enfield. I, it's just better bike for me at least. I don't know, I just like it because it's smoother. Everything about it is just smoother, except for maybe the handling. The handling on this is way better, but other than that, it's just I'd rather have something that I could, I feel like I have more control over compared to something that feels like it's going to, you know, just like fly out from under me. Okay. Um, I honestly can't disagree with you. Um, I do think that like that 40, 50 horsepower number is a great number for your first bike, but I know people are going to do it. Um, I think it's a great bike, but uh, all right, Chris, I know you've been talking about a couple bikes you want to ride. What what's on your short list? What bikes have you been saying you really want to ride? 
Oh, definitely like a supermoto, like maybe like a 450, something like, like that. A supermoto? I thought the KTM, what was it, the oh, 390 you've been saying you want? 390. Oh, you're not, I'm not letting you ride a Duke 890. Really? <laughs> 390, the 390 maybe, but I, All right. I'd rather, it's basically a supermoto, but naked bike, so I'd rather right. just get a supermoto. All right, well, out there, if you live in North Jersey and you have a supermoto or a Duke 390, not an 890, uh, or maybe a Vitpillin 401, and you want to try either a Triumph 675 or right at Royal Enfield 650, and you want to come out for a ride and swap bikes with the boy, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm sure we can work it out. Thanks, YouTube. Bye.